Vice President Sara Duterte steps down as Secretary of the Department of Education or DepEd and co-vice chairperson for the National Task Force to end local communist armed conflict or NTF LCAC. On her 30-day notice, there was no mention of any reason for her resignation but only stated it is irrevocable. The vice president also personally confirms her withdrawal from her commitment as Education Secretary as she made her announcement in DepEd office on Wednesday, June 19. Earlier today, June 19, 2024, I sought an audience with the president and tendered my resignation as a secretary of education effective July 19, 2024. I have given my 30-day notice to ensure the proper and orderly transition for the benefit of the next secretary. In her speech, the vice president mentioned some of the achievements in DepEd during her term as education secretary. This primarily includes the new curriculum for kindergarten to grade 10, which is highly anticipated to be implemented in the school opening on July 29. VP Duterte, however, stated no apparent reason for her resignation. Mga kababayan, ang aking pagbibitiw ay hindi lula ng ahinaan, kundi dala ng tunay na malasakit para sa ating mga guro at kabataang Pilipino. After her message, VP Duterte refused to entertain any questions from the media, particularly her considerations leading to such decision. The NTF LCAC respects the resignation of Vice President Sara and shares gratitude for her significant role and contributions in advancing the mission of the agency to promote peace in the country. The agency also believes that Vice President Sara will continue to serve the Filipino people with utmost love and dedication. Meanwhile, Alliance of Concerned Teachers Party List Representative Franz Castro has welcomed VP Sara's resignation. In a statement, she remarked that VP Sara should have resigned from the Department of Education earlier to allow for the appointment of a more suitable leader. The Solon expressed that the two years of VP Sara's tenure as Secretary of Education were a missed opportunity to address issues in the education sector, including teacher salaries and benefits. Representative Castro also expressed hope that the President will appoint new, more appropriate leaders to the positions vacated by VP Sara. Asher Kadapan Jr., UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.